people are saying 2k24 has changed again so we're gonna hop straight into it man if you guys appreciate me gathering all this information for you please drop a like for me and let's get it so be like dime a 2k youtuber went to twitter and this is what he said i wish mike wing left the shooting how it was dot 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 i still have no idea what i'm doing shooting wise unless i'm wide open especially on my 6-1 trying to shoot crabs or pull-ups with defenders trailing is leading to broken backs and very early's crying face time to touch grass i guess game went from great to trash in a month now i want you guys to let me know because 2k24 has almost been out for two months now which is crazy to me it feels like time is flying if you like the game or not how do you feel about 2k24 at the moment but we can't stop there because we got a lot to talk about so look 2k labs posted a 73 to 83 three point chart and right at 76 i know it's a lot to read you are able to green around close to 100 percent of your shots so once again kind of like uncle demi said before the game came out the two-way slashing playmaker really is a nice build i mean i've got a lot of builds that have close to a 76 three-pointer and a lot of them are directly at 76 to get that bronze agent three so iggy mo a guy who is going for the 2k league he's a twitch streamer he's a comp player pro-am whatever he was talking and so many of these guys were talking about shooting was changed again on 2k24 because if you all haven't been keeping up with the videos the pro-am players have been saying that pro-am especially just that mode specifically is like three times the hall of fame difficulty no one can shoot in there and games are going 30 to 30 or 40 to 40 well this is what he said on twitter 2k 100 reverted shooting sliders to day one guards are back fading from 33 feet not take over every smothered is going in and you can shoot from everywhere with badge am i bugging only thing different is jump shots still don't feel good due to latency change okay so the next one is from splash edition a former two hundred fifty thousand dollar my team winner and 2k league professional still pro and player said as they revert the game back to day one and day two sliders once again with no communication they just literally tapping stuff to see if we're gonna notice pg's limitless works which we've talked about plus you can green smothered and you can fade from backcourt and park again as we always say 2k will either completely break something or it just won't work there will never be a median only thing making people miss is the slowdowns at this point hell yeah 2k thanks for the communication the yo-yo still animations is also back but that barely matters at the moment so wow that's a lot to take in but as we've seen from my power of limitless if you guys haven't seen that video you should probably check it out after this limitless range kind of works how it should again and that's how we complained about in the beginning of the year we said look you know people are shooting from the other three-point line that's crazy we just want limitless range to work we just want someone that goes for a 96 three-pointer and gold limitless range to not be extremely scared to shoot from the hash you know what i'm saying and well 2k does what 2k does and they patched the shooting from the other three-point line, but they also patched it to where you, like, Limitless just didn't work. And then Mike Wing fixed it. And now we know that Limitless does work just a few steps back, but they reverted it again to where you can shoot from literally the other side of the court. Let's roll this insane clip of how shooting is in Pro-Am right now. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yo, pass it to me back, Joel. Come here. Hit Joel. Hit Joel. Another one. Another one. Hit him back. Hit him. No. No. He's a dick eater. He's a dick eater. Confirmed. Oh, hell no. What the fuck? all right that was insane right there obviously that's not happening every single play but when the game first came out there was viral clips lots of people were shooting those full court heaves right there and then posting it on twitter that was gone once mike wang made that limitless range patch to not be able to do that which also messed up what limitless range is supposed to be and then now that's back as well so it's just crazy as you see splash edition said i'm not gonna lie i just don't understand how they can't find a median it's either completely broken or just doesn't work you guys complaining this happens like no this is not what people are asking for so i really feel like 2k does avoid so much blame from a tiny percent of the community when people say hey this is a valid criticism right here like hey limitless range does not work it's not popping up i'm shooting a 26 foot three pointer and it's making me break my back i can literally not green the shot please fix this so then 2k fixes that 
and then you're able to shoot from the other three-point line they're like oh that's because you guys asked for this like no no one asked that they, they just wanted limitless range to work how it should actually work so i feel like a lot of people need to stop blaming people for having valid criticisms on what should work and what shouldn't and then 2k fixes or breaks something that's completely not a part of it you know what i'm saying so anyway the next one is from 2k toots which is a great youtube channel talking about the motion styles affecting dribble speed and as you all see motion style does not affect your dribble speed now, of course, on defense, I think Kawhi Leonard is a very good motion style if you guys have any sort of lockdown. But then he posted another video talking about motion styles affecting dribbling speed. Now, dribbling on the seat you see on the left, dribble style and bead on the right, you have LeBron. LeBron is going to be faster. So your dribble style obviously is going to vary in your speeds, but we want to know, like, hey, what's the best ones? You know what I'm saying? What's the actual best ones in the game? And he went he went in and did that so heights under six foot ten you know under six foot five whatever lebron james is going to be the fastest kobe now this is your first step so your first steps lebron's going to be the fastest then you have kobe then when you add them all together which is going to be your first steps plus sprint so like if you play rec pro-am especially you know you want to run all the way down zach levine lebron ja morant pro really it's up to you you know you don't have to just go with the fastest one right so just because it's the fastest doesn't mean it's the best because maybe it doesn't combo with other moves correctly and things like that so i would pick one that's up there close to the fastest but also kind of you know makes your moves look good makes you be able to misdirection and things like that so first steps plus sprints now this is the seasonal slash releases as well you got Kyrie and michael jordan which you have to get at superstar three or starter three and you see man you got zach levine lebron james so first steps plus sprint Kyrie irving is the best dribble style so people were uh, right about that because they were talking about it for months like as the game first came out people were saying that Kyrie irving dribble style was the best one so anyway a movable enforcer was tested as you guys see from 2k labs everyone is saying how overpowered this badge is and the results kind of agree the higher the better and is very much worth the investment if you plan on getting stops inside the arc and you see badge level all the way up to hall of fame is going to be better it looks like the sweet spot is gold um, but i've been telling you guys literally since the game came out man drop a like on this video if you guys have heard me talk about a movable enforcer at least once bro because i'm telling y'all i think i've been saying it as well that a movable enforcer is better than clamps this year so hey do what you got to do with that but high strength actually did turn out to be something that works on 2k it's not necessarily the strength though it is the badges that go with it which is basically the same thing because you got to have the attributes up you know what i'm saying anyway pre-patch versus post-patch 85 three ball from 2k labs and basically they're testing because people keep saying that shooting has been changed and it seems like from their test that shooting has not been changed like actual percents in green windows however we do know that defensive immunity no longer gives you a speed up and we also know that it's slowing people down on crabs and people behind them and things like that and i've seen in the comments of the last video about 50 people saying look crabs slowing people down blah 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 you know crabs aren't a real life shot and so i understand that it, crab shouldn't even be in the games i get that in a way but some people do crab in real life you know what i'm saying it doesn't slow down their shot and stuff like that so anyway zach timmerman a guy that works for 2k said this on twitter which i thought was pretty interesting he said someone created a two-way three level phenom and i need to find you so I don't know if they have some sort of database up that shows every possible build name you can have and then the amount of users with that build name but that's kind of what it seems like that's crazy though that apparently like from what i'm getting from that unless that was the last one there is builds out there that no one has yet like build names that no one has so that is pretty crazy let me know if you guys have seen a very rare build name and let us know in the comment section now sean rkl said has anyone else's inputs not been working sometimes when dribbling like sometimes i'll flick my right stick to do a dribble move and my player just doesn't do it at all i notice it started after the most recent patch and yes that is a part of the latency that i told you guys i do want to talk about soon but the guys have not gathered all the information basically when 2k dropped that big patch like two weeks ago it's hard to explain but like the game used to reset once every minute if that makes sense and now it can do it all the way up to like once every 10 seconds 
up to 30 seconds it's gonna do it every single time so like basically not every time is this right here but when your game freezes when you shoot you know what i'm saying when it just stops for like half a second that's what the refresh is is what they've been telling me so that's insane and they said that 2k is one of the only games or the only game with that issue so 2k25 maybe okay look i'm just saying maybe i'm just reading from what we got here okay do not take me saying this 100 percent at all but 2k intel posted and they said that it might get delayed because of something's plans to send a strike authorization vote for the video game industry after they fail to meet the needs of video game actors companies facing a possible strike include activision ea epic games insomniac games take two and warner bros so i don't know how that's gonna work out but a lot of people are actually saying hey this would be good for 2k because then they would have two years to make a game instead of a every year release so i don't know could you guys play 2k24 for two years for the sacrifice of being able to get a game that took two years to make which will obviously be better than a game that took one year to make anyway this is your daily reminder to spin that wheel because someone got unlimited gatorade from just spinning their wheel now i'll tell y'all it's either starter two or starter three where it says you're supposed to get like much better elite wheel spins bro i got 10,000 vc one time and since then i've gotten like three heat release logos like why am i getting the same logo release that i already have unlocked i've got 750 vc 500 vc i've barely got anything good and i hit starter three like a month ago so i don't know maybe i just got bad luck but this is some interesting news as you all know zins are kind of in 2k24 kind of not we've talked about it before basically it's like less than one percent for sure of 2k players that have a real zen because the cronus zen that everyone was using in like 2k21 doesn't really work consistently anymore maybe if you're just a straight pure spot up in the corner it does but it doesn't necessarily anyway let's just get into this okay xbox will stop unauthorized accessories from connecting to xbox consoles starting in november and will display an error message to users using such accessories this will prevent users from using cronus zins to exploit in games so cronus zins say goodbye but is playstation gonna do it because you already know these dudes man if they're on xbox and they're cheating and they care that much they'll go get a playstation because people are actually that crazy and i just want to say man I've been thinking about it and I, I really wanted to like I don't know if I wanted to say it but look if you bought a Zen in 2k21 you are the reason we have gone through all of this dweeb moment bro like just think about what you did you are a part of the reason that shooting has been changed a thousand times we had such a good shooting system 2k was the same exact thing for 20 years you hold the button at the release you release bang that's it at the flick you release and now we got all these issues literally multiple different shot timings we got to have early and push and all that literally because people could not cheat in a video they could not not cheat in a video game bro it's insane it's not like ah it's just crazy to me anyway 2k actually has some good events coming and i wanted to give them a little w you know because as much as i critique the game i also have to give them w's when they do good 2v2 rush is back 1v1 rush they've got the tko event is coming back so they did pretty good bringing back rush i forgot when they brought back rush i think it was 2k 23 or 22 they brought back like 2v2 but this is the first time we've seen 1v1 since 2k 21 or it's vice versa i don't know it's either the first time we've had 1v1 or 2v2 since like 2k 21 yeah you get it you know what i'm saying i'm glad that they brought rush back that's a cool event that i actually like that they brought back we've talked about that before how i think it's good that 2k brings back some things but some things like nobody asked for and they bring back so anyway speaking of bringing back logic quote tweeted 2k and actually ratioed them got 1400 likes and said can we start a petition to turn on older 2k servers i genuinely would rather go play 2k20 or 19 right now and it's just like will 2k ever do that because as you all see from call of duty i mean they're basically remastering what is it mw2 mw3 i think it's mw2 they're basically remastering the game so is 2k ever gonna do something like that and then we also have Fortnite that just came out with the new season today, which is basically season one on Fortnite. I don't know. Will 2K maybe open up old servers for a week, for a month, something like that? 
Will they ever do something like that? Is it something that is tied to a license where they just can't do it? I would just like an answer from 2K. That'd be really cool if they could just come out and say, hey, look, we see you guys want this, but uh, we can't, we literally cannot do it, okay? Or hey, we can do it and we're thinking about doing it in the future, something like that. Anyway, guys, click this video right here to see what a 99 layup plus Hall of Fame whistle does in the rec on 2k24 man tap it click it whatever you got to do i think it's a really good video james harden just got traded so it's a james harden build if you want if you want to check it out and i'm out peace